fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a Betis nymph. This one I would say is semi realistic. And this one is a size 10, Tiemco 113 BHL. The thread I'm going to use is the Nano Silk from Semperfly in olive. This one is 18 naught and really really strong. So we'll start by just putting down a little bit of thread and we'll stay right here up at the end. You can cut off the rest piece. Then here at the eye we want to put in some eyes for the fly. And to do this it's really simple. I have here some nylon thread. I put it in my needle nose pliers. For this size 10 it works well with a nylon thread that is half a millimeter in thickness. Then you take your lighter and will just burn these. And as you will see these will curl up and form an eye. It will also darken a bit and we'll do this on the other side as well. And for this what we want is only the heat from the flame, you don't want to actually burn it. And then what you can do is to just dip these in cold water and it will set the eyes. And we'll tie these in just here at the front of the fly. So you want to make cross turns over and really bind it down. And Make sure to keep them well centered and perpendicular to the hook shank. And then to secure this even more we can take some turns under like you would for a power post. This will really bind down these other turns you've made and make for a really it will really really secure these eyes. And here it's really nice with this really thin thread. You can just put layer after layer and it won't build up any bulk. And also as it's so strong you can really really pull on it. Then what I like to do is to put just a drop of glue here in the middle. This will secure this even more. And also make all the thread wraps disappear so you won't lose these eyes at any time. Then take your thread down to the bend of the hook and here we want to tie in the tail. For this I'm going to use some pheasant tail. This one has been dyed in dark olive. You could also use just regular pheasant tail if you don't have any olive available. But here I'll take about five fibers, put them 90 degrees from the stem, this will align the tips, and then tear them off, and I want these to be about half the length of the hook shank. So transfer that to your other hand, tie it in with some loose turns, and here if you see that these are a little bit too long, you can just adjust it before tying down quite well and we'll tie this up the length of the body so we want to leave about two three millimeters here at the front between the body and the eyes to build up the thorax and here we can break this off and then on our way back we will tie in the next material, this is some body glass in olive, this one is half round, so we'll tie this in on our way back, and here you can quite pull on it just to thin down the material as much as possible, and also with this thread you can really really pull and bind down it's quite slippery materials. And so we go back up to where we tied in the material.
So here for the next part we are going to obtain these gills that we see here on each side of the body. And this is a technique I got from Flyfisher, or I think it's pronounced this way. So you guys should check out his account. I'll leave a link down in the description. So he's a pro tire for Samplefly and he put up one image with a Betis nymph in black and the difference between this one and his is that he used microtubing I think and for the gills he used fluorobrite and unfortunately I don't have any fluorobrite but thought that polyprovion would work as well so here I have some white polyprovion that I've colored in olive with a marker we're going to tie this in here at the front we'll tie this in here on each side at the start of the thorax or at the one third part on the fly to leave it like so for now I'm just going to pull these back and take my thread forward just in front of these to secure it now what you want to do is to start bringing up your body glass or your microtubing or whatever material and you want to start making turns here and here for the first turn you want to grab just a little piece of your material and you want to bring it back and trap it with your tubing here and as you trap it it will just stand out to the side here we have the second gill so I'll leave you to my struggling through up to the thorax and I'll see you there as I reach the half point of my gill material and this is why I decided to leave these ones sticking forward it's just a little bit easier to handle so I'll continue alternating on each side And then once you reach the thread we will tie this off and here make sure to tie this off really really well with a lot of turns to really secure this two turns in front and then we can cut off the body glass really close And here now we have all these gills, these really really long gills sticking out on each side. And what we want to do is to trim these down to length. So you grab all the material, put it 90 degrees from the stem, I was about to say, but from the body. And then you can just cut these off. And I tend to make these a little bit longer in the front and tapering down right to the back the same way on the other side tapering back from the front to the back what I will then do is to color this brown on the back as most naturals are a little darker on their back as on their belly and now we want to tie in the thorax cover and this will also make the head of the fly and this one is nymph skin this one is the translucent in three millimeter the easiest way is to tie this in here behind the eyes and you want to leave 
a little piece here that you can pull this way when you pull it and then cut it 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 almost disappears and then go underneath and we will go back here to the last segment you did so go here in between and here also with this really really thin thread it's much easier to do it really sinks in between the turns of of body loss so then we'll make two turns to secure this quite heavy and then go back up again and then here as you can see we can pull this and cut it off really really close and now we have our thorax cover placed then for the legs of this fly I'm going to use some partridge this one has been dyed in olive choose a feather in the right size the easiest way is with hackle pliers and we will just grab the tip here of the feather then pull back all the fibers or as many as you like and here the idea is form this little triangle in front concave side facing up we will tie this in right here and make sure this is well centered and you have these fibers here that you will use that start right here at the back and cut off the tip now here to cover up all this mess we have here I will use some opossum this one is in the color olive take a small pinch and then build up a little dubbing noodle onto the thread if you don't have enough just add a little more it's always easier to add instead of removing material that you have in excess so now here we have almost everything covered in dubbing and what you want to do is to pull or grab your feather and then pull it forward and as you can see here the fibers will stick out naturally to the sides and then with a quite loose turn holding this we will tie this in just behind the eyes and here the eyes are also really great you have the, the length of the thorax already made and also the thread will never slip forward out onto the eye of the hook so so these eyes are really really neat when you tie all these kind of flies and also give the fly a quite realistic look and then you can take your thorax cover or the nymph skin here and we'll just pull this and take this forward this will push down the legs a little bit on each side then tie this off as well right here behind the eyes a few quite heavy turns then reach in with your scissors and we can cut off the feather then here pull the nail skin forward right over the eyes so here I'm going to grab just a little more of the same dubbing this olive opossum just build up a thin and short dummy noodle then I make some turns here in front then to the back and this should cover up everything underneath and then when you're here right behind the eyes again we'll pull this nymph skin back 
over the head once again and then with a few quite heavy turns we can bind this down really well and then to finish off the fly what I like to do is to add just a little bit of glue and I'll add it to the thread so then you can make your usual three turn three or four turn whip finish then pull really really tight cut off the thread and then here we can pull this and cut it off really close and then to enhance the look of the fly a little bit more we can brush out just a little bit of this thorax and head dubbing and this will blend in a little with the partridge feather as you can see here the color is pretty light and I want this just a little darker so I'm going to use a brown marker a dark brown marker and I'm just going to color here the back of the body as well as the thorax cover and out onto the head and then to get a shiny fly that will last for a really long time I'm just going to add some varnish here to the top to the thorax cover and also right out onto the head and there we have the Betis nymph thank you for liking and commenting Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and have a time.